I want to thank uh, Black Health Matters as well as Bristol Myers Squibb to uh, allow me to talk about such a uh, important topic. Um, so in terms of what this all means, um, when we look at black men, unfortunately, you know, in terms of health outcomes, we have the lowest rates. So we have the highest rates of diabetes, highest rates of hypertension, um, obesity, heart disease, colon cancer, prostate cancer, especially when we compare it to white men. Well, the prostate gland, we typically, as you're all, just call it the sex gland. It kind of sits between the bladder and the urethra. It's in continuity with the urethra, and it provides the nutrients or the fluid for seminal fluid. Prostate cancer affects, as we mentioned and I talked about, affects many men. Um, what it is, is it's when abnormal cells in the prostate start to overgrow the prostate, and it starts to destroy the prostate. And then it can it, then it can spread outside the prostate. It's called metastatic prostate cancer, and men can actually have some problems and die of that. And that probably seventy to seventy five percent of people that we diagnose with prostate cancer are going to be asymptomatic. So, one don't count those symptoms as as being prostate cancer, and certainly don't think that the absence of symptoms means that you shouldn't get screened or shouldn't get checked for prostate cancer. There's two things that we do. One thing is called a PSA, which is prostate specific antigen. So that's a blood test. The other thing is um, that's coupled with a digital rectal exam. And so your primary care doctor can do this, your urologist can do this. History. So if you have a family history of high blood pressure or diabetes or colon cancer, you should really be talking to your doctor about getting screened. Well, now the American Urological Association recommends screening definitely for men between the ages of 55 and 70. Certainly someone that has strong family history and what we call primary relatives, a brother, a father that have prostate cancer. There's some statistics that say that uh, we're more likely to get diagnosed, um, uh, 1.8 times uh, more likely when you compare us to white men. Uh, we're more likely to have aggressive prostate cancer. Um, we're more likely to die from prostate cancer. There are literally hundreds of clinical trials going on presently for prostate cancer. Um, the way to kind of find out what's going, what may be going on in your area, certainly your first one choice may be asking your physician because often physicians are aware of clinical trials that are going on in the area. The basics behind that is we need to know what medications or what devices are going to work best in black men and African Americans, right? Because of all the reasons why I said before, it's really important that African Americans um, participate in these trials. We're underrepresented in these trials, right? So we're not sure if, you know, if a trial uh, only has a, a small number of black men and say they have the majority of white men, we don't know if these drugs are going to work for us. So BMSStudyConnect.com, I think, is a good resource. Okay. Um, to uh, for patients to go to. There's clinicaltrials.gov, which is also a good a good resource.